question that I've wondered from reading the Dark Side Dimension spoilers was how did Kaiba summon Obelisk the Tormentor? With the English dub coming out, I think they might have given us the answer. So this video will contain spoilers for Dark Side Dimensions relating towards the English dub. If you do not want to get spoiled, please leave. But a little backstory before we even get on with the whole how did Kaiba summon Obelisk. Kaiba summons Obelisk during the Aigami duel, which takes place at the ceremonial battle. Basically, Kaiba is waiting for his machine to get ready with the Millennium Puzzle, so within that time, he duels with Aigami. And the duel is pretty much consistent, it goes back and forth. I'm going to be doing a duel breakdown as well. I'll go more in depth about the duel. But Kaiba is basically going back and forth. It's a, it's a very equivalent duel. And then towards the end of the duel, Aigami is murking Kaiba. Then Kaiba has this mental monologue saying that I can't give up. I, I've done so much work to duel a Tim. I can't give up. Basically sort of creating this motivation for him. And out of pure rage, Kaiba palm fists the floor. And out comes this beautiful, just beautiful CGI rendered version of Obelisk. It was such a sight to see. And what Kaiba does is he does a fist of fury. And Aigami has 1000 life points left in that duel. But key information to take from that duel is that Aigami says what? How did Kaiba get his hands on Obelisk the Tormentor? Because Aigami stated that once the Pharaoh left so did the God Cards and this is according to the English dub so please understand that it might be different in the Japanese dub. So I'm going to give a few explanations on what could have happened. The best answer that I could think of is that during the Atim vs Kaiba duel, the first duel of the movie, Kaiba defeats Atim and then once he's done that, the whole virtual uh, simulated system disappears and Kaiba's in an office full with his workers. Kaiba begins to state that this dueling server that can create anything on his mind and also has all his cards that he used in the past uploaded onto that system. So that's most likely how he summoned Obelisk is the fact that with him stating that the system has all the cards that he's used throughout his dueling career, he's used Obelisk before. He used Obelisk during Battle City. He actually got Obelisk from a Shizu. So that's the most logical reason on how we summoned Obelisk is the fact that he got it from the cloud server. The other thing I could think of is the fact that Kaiba drew it from the ground. Maybe it's in the rubble with the Millennium items. But the thing is that when a Tim left into the afterlife, if you look at the manga, his duel dis everything just disappeared. Like we don't know where it went. So we don't have a definitive answer on what it is. The best and most likely reason is because of the first theory that I said, and that was the cloud servers. It just makes the most sense. So that's the video for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day as always and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content.